Hey, so I hear you want to be a programmer. Maybe you're thinking of making the next million dollar app or Minecraft. Well, I've got the talk for you. Today, we're going to go through a few things. I'm going to introduce myself. We'll talk about what a programmer does, who are programmers, and how you can become one. Then I get to share my favorite thing about being a programmer with you. And finally, we'll wrap with some different resources and ways to get started. We're going to go through these slides fairly quickly, but don't worry, you can find them online by visiting this link or pause the video now and scan this QR code with your phone. This slide will be up again at the end too. So who am I? Well, my name is Mark Bennett. Anyone from Hollywood might know my kids from your school. I've been programming for a long time. I made my first game in grade three. It was called Box Boy, and I can tell you it was pretty terrible, but making it was a lot of fun. And it really got me excited about programming. I now work as a professional software developer at Burma Studio here in Edmonton, where I make websites, apps, and all sorts of business software with a great team every day. I'm also president of the Dev Edmonton Society. Dev Edmonton Society is a group of programmers and developers that work together to learn new and interesting things and help each other in our jobs. It's a lot of fun and I love going to the meetups and events that we organize together. I'm also really passionate about being here today because of it. So what does a programmer do? That's a good question. You might have heard of some of the things we've made, like certain games. This is one of my favorites, but pretty much every game that you've ever played on a computer, phone, or television was made by a programmer. We also make other things that you might use every day, like apps and websites. What might surprise you is that programmers also make things like cars and appliances. Many of these things have computer chips inside them, and it's programmers that write the software to power them. We also get to make fun things like toys. Hopefully not all of them are quite as evil as these Furbies turned out to be, but you'll find that lots of toys have lots of code written by programmers. So who are programmers? Good question. You'll be surprised that programmers can be virtually anyone. One of my favorite things about being a programmer is that it doesn't matter where you're located, where you work from, if you're at home or in an office, or who you are, you can be a great programmer. It means I get to work with a wonderful and diverse group of people every day, and I love to see what the people I work with come up with. So, how can you become a programmer? Well, you're gonna need a computer. It doesn't matter if it's Windows, Mac, or even Linux, but you'll need something because it's a lot easier to write software when you've got a keyboard and a big screen to look at. These days, you'll also need the internet. It's useful for looking things up, getting help, and sharing all the cool stuff I'm sure you're gonna make. So make sure you've got both of these if you can. You might be able to get them at your school. The next thing you need is an idea. Coming up with one of these can be harder than you think. But it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be the next million dollar app. It should just be something that excites you and it'll keep you working on it. If you're stuck looking for ideas, there's tons out there and lots of ways to get inspired. You can think about a problem or something that would be fun, or you can check out some of these resources. There's things like Minecraft the Education Edition, which has tons of cool activities you can do right inside Minecraft. There's also Scratch, from the really smart people at MIT, where you can make interactive stories, games, and all sorts of fun adventures to share with your friends. There's also places like CodePen. These are really cool, especially once you're working professionally because they can give you great inspiration with different pens doing all sorts of really cool things online. Finally, there's all sorts of tutorials and websites and lessons to help you get going. Visit places like code.org or many others to find free online lessons that you can follow. 
there's also great help right here in Edmonton. I have to mention the Dev Edmonton Society. We have an online chat called Slack where you can connect with literally thousands of other developers right here in Edmonton and get help. And we organize monthly meetups for all sorts of programming. So no matter what you're doing, you can find local people doing it too. There's also great groups like Canada Learning Code who run workshops for almost any kind of programming for all ability levels and ages. Finally, you can do things like um, camps and programming at Telus World of Science. They have a great program in the summers. I definitely recommend checking out. If you're just looking to get a couple quick answers to your questions, a website like Stack Overflow or Google can be really helpful. Stack Overflow in particular has answers to millions of questions asked by programmers with great answers that the community can vote on. And if you can't find what you're looking for, you can ask your own. If you're really serious, stay in school and you can head to college or university, all of which have computing science and computing engineering programs. McEwen, U of A, and Nate are great local places to go. And finally, don't give up. Getting started with programming can be tricky and challenging, but it can also be really rewarding. If you're struggling, reach out, find other people learning too, and ask for help. I'm sure you'll get through it. Just take your time and don't get frustrated. So, what is the best part about being a programmer? This answer is easy. It's making people's lives better. I really love to see when someone is using something that I've made to make their life simpler, less frustrating, or just because it's fun. It's really satisfying and still makes me smile every time it happens. So let's wrap up. What did we learn today? Well, we learned that programmers make apps, games, and websites, and they even program things like cars, appliances, and toys. Anyone can be a programmer. All you need is a computer and a connection to the internet. Start with an idea and look around you for inspiration. Then find others and get help. Finally, if you're serious, stay in school and head to university or college. So thank you. I really wanna say um, I've appreciated the support of my parents and all my great teachers over the years. I would never have been a programmer without you. So thank you very much. If you'd like to see these slides again or have any other questions, you can find me on Twitter or my email scan this with your phone to bring up the slides again.